All right, so you guys asked for this video and it's gonna be very long, so just bear with me. You guys can probably just go to the end of the video if you guys wanna see the miles and range, but it does help me out if you guys watch the video. But, so anyways, we are at 84.3 volts on the Super 73, 72 volt. You guys wanna range test. I wanna show you that on my phone, my trip history is zero miles per hour and zero miles traveled. This is how we're gonna monitor our miles. I honestly think we're gonna get probably 35 to 40, but I'm gonna be real with you right now and tell you that I am not planning on riding this bike until it completely dies. That's just me. I'm not gonna go out there and ride it until it's at 60 volts and I might not make it home. I'm just gonna ride as much as possible. When we get back, we're gonna see where our voltage is at and see where it sits on the chart. And then we'll see how many miles we got to that. So you guys can get somewhat of an idea. And I just realized I forgot my gloves, so hold on. So I'm pretty sure you guys know if that you're ordering this kit from Custom E-Bike or Moto Electric Racing that it says you get a 30 amp hour battery and that's not true. The battery that comes on the 5000 watt kit is actually, oh we're going to go around this car, is actually uh, 32 amp hours. So you actually get two more amp hours than they say. Which is pretty cool. I take it. Okay, Escalade, asshole. So like you can see me clear as day. It ain't nighttime. Come on, people. Man, the dreaded intersection we're coming up to. We gotta be careful. And there's a lot of stuff on the side of the road. Wow, where are you gonna go, truck? You got far, buddy. Wow, look at this traffic. This is why we get e-bikes, guys. So I gotta put it in mode five because some people get on the freeway right here and you gotta be careful, so. I'll tell you right now, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just riding. I wish I had a plan, but I don't. God, man, I don't miss driving whatsoever. Look at this. I don't know how your city is, but man, we got too many people. It's crowded. Everyone with their stimulus checks the other year, man. I'ma buy a car. Everyone's driving. So far, we are down two volts. Nothing like crazy, crazy bad. Buy a PT Cruiser. Eat my dust. So obviously I'm being a little conservative with my riding. Normally I'm blasting doing 50 miles an hour everywhere, but I'm not trying to do that like right now. I'm trying to do both. Um, I'm riding way faster than you would on an electric bike. That's for sure. I'm going way over the speed limit in California, but I'm also not um, going 50 miles an hour. Okay, now I'm going pretty damn fast. <laughs> I forgot I put it in uh, mode five. Mode five has all the power, baby. Come on, truck, you go a little faster if you're gonna pull out that like that in front of me. Come on. Don't worry, if people see me right now, I am 100% pedaling everywhere I go. So people can't say nothing. Oh, I'm gonna have to pass all these cars though. Look at, look at the cars on the side. All right, this is where uh, I got a speed. All right, we're good now, we're good now. Got a little room off to the side. Back down to mode four. Leave a comment too. If you guys are watching this whole entire video, I'm going to be very surprised. I know a lot of you guys think it's relaxing just to see some bike rides and, you know, people just having fun. I get it. I totally get it. But uh, I already know this video is going to be probably close to an hour.
man, you gotta be careful out in these streets. Holy crap. I know they don't expect the bike to be going that fast, but I mean, from my, how I learned how to drive, you gotta look at traffic and you don't look to see how far they are. You look to see how fast they're going. Assholes. God, man. You see that? Like they just jaded right out in front of me. Like, God, I hate people. Sorry, I don't wanna be ranting all day. I'm trying to be a professional. <laughs> uh, it says we have went five miles almost. And we are down to 80.5 volts. I'm pretty sure you guys can't see the screen. You guys should make some uh, comments down below before this video is even over. And don't cheat. But if you guys are watching the video right now, after everything I said and how my Ryan is and stuff like that, like, let me know, like, what you guys think my range is going to be at the end. I just started like he was gonna walk like do you not see me bro this is kind of why I don't come out this way at this time I could probably get a lot of good content I could be that angry New York guy that rides his bicycle and he's always yelling at people <laughs> I could probably be that guy it's just so so bad over here there's not even a bike lane but I'm going Trash can day, you gotta watch out for those. Whee. I'm waiting for someone to catch me at a light and be like, oh shit, that thing's dope. All right, it's getting a little sketchy out here, so we are gonna have to put it in mode five. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we are passing people this is crazy bro hella crazy we get next to this cop i think there's a cop up there oh no it's not no it's not thought it was cool so we are down to 79.9 volts it's going to go up to 80 so 80 flat and we have done 6.5 miles so we lost four volts for six and a half miles that's not bad at all i'll take that all day long we we'll go see my friends at audio innovation and see what they're up to real quick what up, Ryan? Jonathan, what are you doing? Nothing, just riding around. I got to do a range test, so I just thought I would say what's up really quick. I've seen you in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Switch over. What's up? <laughs> you have bike? Oh, I've had this for a while. Is your, one, is your race car? No, no. <laughs> no, this one's not as fast as the other one, but uh, you probably, if you see my videos, I put a bigger battery in here, a controller. Oh, dope. This thing does 55 miles an hour. Oh, very cool. Yeah, and it's a legit, the class two bike, but cops wouldn't know that yeah exactly what do they know yeah exactly they're just gonna see this logo but hey look it up you'll see they don't make any bikes that go that fast they're not gonna know it's modified exactly they're not gonna know what's that yeah, yeah it's electric yeah, yeah. thanks man How much? the bike itself is four grand, four grand and then i upgraded it to do 55 miles an hour and it cost me 2500 bucks to do that How much? uh 2500 on top of the bike Damn, yeah. yeah all right we gotta get out of here Oh my god i wasn't even fully on it but my my feet were gonna come off the pedals man damn well, that was cool i had to go say hi to my stereo shop friends see what they were doing now we're back on the road 
ran into some uh, random dude. <laughs> he liked the bike though, it was cool. Showing some love for the page, you know. Oh, hell yeah, we gonna make it. We gonna fly past this garbage truck. Where are we at right now? Couldn't even tell you. Oh, I think we're by the mall. Let's go this way. Yeah, we are definitely by the mall. Probably packed as hell out here. Don't like these. Oh, God. You gotta be careful on speed bumps, guys, because trust me when I say uh, you have a lot of weight on this bike and you can crack the frame, so you gotta definitely be careful. Coppers. Coppers, coppers. I should have went the other way. I wanted to see what's going on in the front of the mall. I'm in the back. Still doing very, very well on power and range. 7.6 miles and we are down to 79 volts. The only thing that would ever ruin this day, because we know how far we can go down in this battery, which is 60 volts, would be if we got a flat. I'd cry. I would hella cry. Okay. Woo! Be careful going onto the road when uh, the cement is kind of unlevel. God, that's sketchy. So it would be nice when we get turn signals for this bike because that would have really came in handy right now. No one knew if I was going straight or turning, but I just wanted to try to do it as fast as possible. I don't want to be that asshole like holding up traffic. Yeah, I don't even know where I'm going to be straight up honest. We're on Shaw and First right now. I'm pretty far from the house. I mean, it is eight miles that we went, but I just don't really have a spot that we planned on riding to. Maybe I can hit up uh, Woodward Park and see what's up over there. I also got to make sure my GoPro doesn't die because I only have one battery. So if it dies, see you at the house. Oh crap, we got to make this light. Don't hit me. Don't go out. Do not jet out. In the bike lane, asshole. Just ride, just driving in the bike lane like it's just something to do. I just realized we're going uh, a little bit faster than traffic and the posted mile per hour, which is 35. Ow. Stupid pothole. I should see if my buddy's home. Thinking about it. What's up? Oh shit! What the? Holy What's up, man? Crazy ass ride. <laughs> Thanks, man. You gonna know anything about electric bikes? This is the guy. Dude, will that carry my weight right now? Oh yeah. Can I go for a spin? Oh, it, it costs too much, man. <laughs> Dude, he's got like five or six of them now. Yeah, about. This one's probably at like seven grand right now. I thought I'd stop by, see if you're outside because I was in the neighborhood. So I'm just trying to do a range test on this setup. <laughs> okay, seats Dude, you, all the way from your house out here? Yeah. Oh, dude, I got here faster than I would my car. I like the little uh, comber on the, the little shoe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all kind of dirty now. My little shoe. Oh, what the f***? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bike, if you bought the bike stock, it, it nothing nothing's in here when you buy it stock. That whole black center piece is completely hollow. Um, it costs four grand, and then I put 2,500 into it to upgrade the rear motor. There's a big battery in here that's uh, blue. It's all right here, and then there's another controller right there. And gives it way more power. You're good with wiring, huh? Not really, no. This is all plug and play shit. <laughs> the only thing I had to do is Dremel one of the brackets so the axle uh, fit through these uh, brackets because it's a bigger uh, axle. That's all I had to do. I don't know nothing about electrical, dude. Mr. Essential Driver? Yeah, that's my YouTube thing, yeah. Bro, back in the day, he had the fastest Civic. He was eating people of <laughs> like, I'm Long time like, ago. Dude, that shit was so fun, bro. I'd go out and record and all of a sudden you just hear, like, Dude, we ran so many fucking people, B20s. <laughs> His single cam turbo was eating up GSR turbos that were built, caged, complete, like just straight up race cars. Dude, like, I want to run that green Civic, full interior. <laughs> like I'm in the passenger seat. Like, <laughs> dude, just gone. We just leave him. I'm like, dude, yeah. what the fuck? I'm, dude, that was sick. Those are some good days. All right, I'm going to get out of here. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Had to go say what's up to my buddy Matt. Surprised he was home. It's good seeing that guy. It's been a hot minute since I've seen him, so I'm on this side of town. Why not? I almost thought about going to Vinny's house. You know, Vinny, he rode this the last time, but I know he said he was busy today. I forgot exactly what he was doing, but he's definitely busy. Because I was going to see if he wanted to ride. I wanted him to ride the Suron and I was going to ride this bike. All right. So I haven't reset anything yet. I did sit parked for a little tiny bit. I don't know why the screen was purple. I'm hoping this display is not going out either. I do have a backup one. Oh, okay. It's just the, the shadow. Um, 77.5 volts, if you guys can see that. And we've done almost 11 miles, 10.8. Not too bad, guys. Not not too bad at all. We still got 18 more volts to go through. And if I've already went through six right now, I'm almost halfway, well, oh, a little bit less than halfway of my ride done. I'm hoping your guys' guesses are going to be close to what you guys uh, put in the comments early in the video when I asked you. Let me know how close or accurate you were. Even if you didn't put anything in the comments. Really curious. I'll tell you right now, I don't 100% know where I'm at. I don't really come this way. I'm trying to think of the best way for me to get to Woodward Park. But not entirely sure. I'm on alluvial, so... Shit. You know what? I'm gonna go this way. We are over by the hospital where I should probably get checked out for the side that I fell on when I was on my skateboard. Because that shirt hurt like hell. <laughs> it has been getting better. Still very sore though. So we are at Regal, which is uh, the spot we always come on our electric group rides. I wanted to use this way to get on a trail and go to Woodward Park. Regal IMAX. And that is one big speed bump. Oh, oh Jesus. So I think that's gonna be the plan, guys. We're gonna take this path. We're gonna go backtrack to Woodward Park. Probably the entrance. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way through it. And then uh, we're gonna be heading back. That should be good enough for range. It's gonna give you guys some ideas, especially if you guys watch the whole video on how I ride.
Trying to get through here is fun. Oh, you're going over the curb there, buddy. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh, man. Fresno. Fresno, Fresno. Almost kind of go out in the Clovis, but we're still in Fresno. Okay. Not that lady. She's all mad because I didn't stop at that stop sign. It was funny because before she even turned, she didn't have her uh, blinker on. All right, so my plan was to make it through this green light because I wanted to go in the front of Woodward Park, but now I'm debating if we're gonna go down a little bit and then go through the center of Woodward Park. I think that's what we might do. So I might go up one more light and then we'll go through because we're still looking good, guys. We got 76.4 volts and we've done 13.4 miles. That's pretty damn good. So we went down eight volts and we still have 16 to go. I think exactly what I said, 40 miles is perfect. That's doable like all day long. bumpy from the front here. I don't know why. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. I need to go across right here actually. Traffic was just too fast for this bike to uh, try to get in the street and get in that turn lane to go this way. I am waiting. Stop yelling at me. All right, let's go off road. Just a little, little tiny bit. See how it does. I don't want to get around people because they kind of freak out. These tires are very slippery on dirt. Do not trust them at all. So I'm being very, very cautious. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. We are not doing none of that. Man, I am so curious to know if this GoPro is gonna last all the way until I get home. That's why I didn't really spend many uh, much time with my friends when I went to say hi to them because uh, I just, I had to hurry up and get the hell out of there. My GoPro has been running 24 seven. I would not be surprised if I lose some footage. Should have brought an extra battery. So we're at 75.2 volts and 16.8 miles. Just got 15 volts to go. We ain't blowing through that today. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> Just not happening. There's a GB3 over there that I should probably be going to and get my exercise in, but nah. Oh God, we gotta make this green light. Go, go, go bike. All right, we made it, we made it. All right, things get pretty gnarly up here, guys, if you guys aren't from where I'm at, so I gotta be very careful. There's gonna probably be tons of people in the bike lane up here. I'm not sure, but it's always congested. Got my finger on the brake button. So I already know how this is gonna go. Let's 
guy's like, I thought he was turning, but he was just braking consistently. So his light kept flashing, and I could only see the right tail light, so I thought he was turning. So uh, Vince lives over on this side of the town. Like I said, I was gonna go see him, but he said he was busy, and I don't really wanna bug him. I think he's at a baseball game. But uh, I really wanna get him in our videos, guys. So if you guys watch these videos too, you'll notice where I'm at. Uh, this is where I had my mobbing video where I actually did my last range test for you guys, showing you that we did about 19 miles to uh, half the battery. So we're probably gonna be taking the same route. I don't think Shaw has a bike lane, even though Shaw would be pretty fun to take. So maybe we'll just take Shaw. We'll make the video a little interesting if the GoPro doesn't die. Hey, that guy's driving on the other side of the road in that Jeep. That's an old school Jeep. Nice. Remember us jamming through here the last time? <laughs> There's really no, the bike lane up here just ends, so it's kind of shitty. So look, got a bike lane, right? Oh my God, where's the bike lane? I guess now I could just hug the whole lane, right? I could just be everywhere in this lane. I could zigzag in the lane. I think that's kind of stupid. There should still be a white line for a bike lane. All right, so Shaw's coming up. It's gonna be dangerous. Okay, no bike lane at all. I thought there was gonna be a bike lane, but there's not. So that's great. I had a feeling there wasn't gonna be one, but I'm in Fresno. What do you got? What do you do? I could take this whole lane up if I really want. But that's not the safest thing to do. Not in this bike. All right. 73.5 volts. And we are at 20 and a half miles. Damn, we almost saw an accident too. Damn. All bad. All bad. I should have stopped by my haircut guy. Uh, he was right to the right hand side after that light. I could have showed him the bikes. He would have been really impressed. Cause I told him what I do on YouTube. He's like, that's dope. Bro, we are flying. Yeah, we're gonna kill so much battery on the way back. If I would have took another street, trust me, we could have probably got a few more miles out of it, but now this is the aggressive riding. So I'm kind of showing you, you know, if you rode a little conservatively, but still like 35, 40. And now we're just pretty much flat out, like everywhere we go. Whoa, it is windy. Wow. 22 miles, 73 volts. The only thing you have to worry about is voltage sag when you start getting below probably, I would say like 67, 66. That's when you might have to change your assist from five, which is your power mode five, turn it down to uh, like three or four. I should just get in traffic. I definitely don't want to get a ticket with this bike. You cannot pull this bike off as a motorcycle like you can the Suron. So I just, I don't want to do it. Should though, it makes for some good content. This guy's windshield wipers like went all over the place. to get through cars people 
It is dangerous though. Don't come at me in the comments because that is dangerous. It's just becoming like rush hour, so I'm kind of like in a rush. Now I'm trying to get all these green lights. I'm about to start passing some people. We're doing 30. Come on, this bike can do stock 32 miles an hour. What is traffic doing? That's how you don't get the green lights. What are we breaking for? Hey, there's a bike over there. It's so funny, I've been pedaling the whole time and haven't even really looked behind me to see if there's like a motorcycle. Like cop, I mean, like a motorcycle cop or a regular cop. Okay, Tesla. Stupid lady. How do you not see my helmet? It's bright. My helmet should be the biggest thing that people will see because it has that iridium blue tint to it. So it like has a reflective on it. I just don't understand. I don't get people. Oh, anyways, uh, where are we at? 72.5 volts and 23.8 miles. You guys are getting tired of me telling you guys <laughs> that information. Are you guys cool with it? I really don't know how you guys like these videos. I just know that they're super long. They're informational. But at the same time, I don't know if you guys just want me to spend like an hour or two riding around on my electric bike and then just give you the like the results i feel like to me since i don't do youtube full time and i work a full job i might as well give you guys the breakdown video on everything because then i can make a whole complete video out of it and plus it really helps when um people watch longer youtube videos i feel like my ass is showing because my shirt keeps uh blowing up but i hope not I don't want no one to see my ass crack. Dude, this street is wide open now, buddy. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to stay in this lane. Oh, it's bumpy. I thought I knew that guy, but he was all staring at the bike. So, what's up? Bikes don't sit in weight, but we can get a flat over here. Just careful. I'm gonna go all the way up here. I'm pretty sure my GoPro is still recording. I haven't heard it cut off, so I think it lasted. Um, we got the new Endurance GoPro batteries in here, so maybe that made a huge difference. But hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Another thing too, I want to let you guys know, I do not have regen turned on on this bike. Now, you could put regen on the bike. The only reason I don't is because there's no hills and I feel like it just slows my momentum down. The cool thing about this kit though is you can actually have it on your brake lever too. So you can have it when you slow down and you could also have it on your, when you brake. So that's kind of cool that you could change the feature. Yeah, so we're maxed out. We're still doing 49. Holy crap. That is so impressive. That is insanely impressive that we're doing 49 miles. And we are down a lot of voltage. Wow, that that's that's very impressive. That's that's all I can really say. Oh man, I should have went in front of this guy. Damn it. 
Damn it. Oh man, it's like final destination right here. <laughs> Those things come off and like go right through your body. Shit. That stuff scares me. Like I'm one of those people, I love roller coasters. I love them to death, they're so fun. But I'm also afraid of uh, like a uh, mechanical problem happening, you know? So I love them, but I'm always a little afraid of something happening to the ride. But I'm not afraid to get on the actual ride itself. Like, I, dude, I love the Superman ride. I love doing 200 miles an hour. Speed, baby, speed. But man, something happened, you fly off of it, like that one guy. They got messed up on it. It's crazy. Can you leave me some room? Did you leave me some room? Cause I'm gonna go around you. I'm gonna go around you. Well, I uh, hopefully you guys like this video. So uh, my bar on my gauge now is saying, uh, well, it's showing orange. It's not red yet. I think it goes red when it's very, very low, but it's now finally showing orange. And we're dipping down into the 66.7 range. Oh, there's a cop right there. And uh, yeah, not too bad. Oh, we gotta be careful. Coppers. They could be after us. I'm gonna have to look up the chart to let you guys know exactly where this battery sits at for percentage so i will get to you guys in a little bit all right guys we made it with 15 percent left on my gopro and on the bike we are left at 72.3 volts it just jumped up i think that's pretty much where it's going to rest at we did 27 miles it says right there but i'll go to the other screen just to confirm with you guys our top speed was 50.8 miles per hour, and we did, it says 27 miles on here. Yep, so uh, 27 miles to 72.3 volts. Let me see what the chart says on that. All right, so I brought up the chart, and if you go through here, you're gonna see that it's a 72 volt 20S battery. That's exactly what we have in here. And going off 72 volts, 72 volts is exactly 50%. So we're probably basically 50%. That's, I'm gonna say 50%. I'm not gonna say 51, but it's right there, so. Hopefully you guys liked the video. It was a very long one. I do not wanna sit on the bike for that long anymore. Uh, my ass is really hurting, especially after that skateboard fall, so it's pretty rough. But that's just crazy to know that we did 27 miles to 50% of the battery. And for the most part, I would say half of those miles we're doing over 40 miles an hour, which is insane. That's crazy. So that means, what did that be? 54 miles that that can go technically, but I'm not gonna say that because once you start getting to the lower like 65 volts, you wanna start being careful because you're gonna have a lot of voltage sag and you don't want the battery to start killing it and the whole system will uh, protect itself and it will cut off. So I'm not gonna say it's gonna do that well, but it's impressive to see that you can easily get probably 50 miles of range. And if you wanna get way more than that, you just have to go a little bit slower in the bike lane and you'll get so many places. You can go around your whole city. You can probably go to the next city, come back. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love all you guys. Peace and love to all you true MVPs that sticked around to the end. And you guys that skipped forward just to see the results, go back, like the video, comment something, please. Later.